Pick a move in the ring. You can hit me with the words you fling. All right, what's up, everyone? It's Nick Atkins, South China Morning Post, SCMP Martial Arts here, Bangkok, Thailand, one fight night 11. Thankfully, we're sitting down because I'm here with Radio Patrick, who's about seven feet tall. Uh, much bigger than me, so thank you yeah. for not standing ready and making me look yeah. so tiny. But uh, how are you doing, man? You yeah. just kicked off the show with thank a big you. win. <laughs> thank you for the interview. Yeah, I, uh, um, to be honest, feel amazing. You know, it's uh, it's it was a rematch, so it was a uh, really really pressure on me. You know, because I know if I lose once again from him, that you know that's going to be an, a really you know bad thing. So yeah, the fight went to three rounds. I expe- I put it put it in my head that it will be three rounds. After the knockdown, you know, I thought I'm gonna finish him, but still, I played it smart. You know, didn't want to rush too much, so I played it a little bit a little bit smarter. You know, because uh, because just because it's a, it was a rematch, and you know, we all know what what happened in the last fight, and we all know that Guto is unpredictable. He can throw like from any angle, any shot. You know, as you saw in the previous fight with me. So I did play it a little smart, you know. I threw my threw my um, my boxing, my straight punches, you know, jabs, you know, hooks. So uh, pretty much, I just saw the, saw the fight, saw the fight. So it's it's yeah, it was a good fight. It was a generally good fight. Yeah, you said you you took your time. You didn't rush in after you knocked him down first round. Yeah. We we tempted to go for the kill there, or you you're just thinking. Now we got time here. Well, uh, uh, the thing was that when I got him, it was already the the round was done. Yeah, if if we did, if we had like ten seconds there, I would go to kill. You know, I would go to to, to I would put that killer instinct and go to finish him. But as I have eventually the the bell ringed, so in the second round I already saw him that he is uh, he is um, that he got you know that he's not rocked anymore. So I went from the beginning and still hit him some couple uh, rights to the to the chin. But yeah, he was he took it and um, yeah, fight went to distance. But in, in general, I'm glad, you know, I'm glad for the win. It's a big, you know, um, big, big thing for me, you know, really big thing for me. Yeah, were you surprised he the way he came back in second round and he you know, made it very competitive, didn't he? Yeah, but Gudu is a tough guy, you know, he's a he's experienced guy. He's been in this in, in this uh, situations for 50 times, you know, many times. So he knows how to how to save himself. So that's the, the only that's the one more reason that that I was, you know, calm calm down, more, much more mature. Didn't rush at all, you know. And yeah, I know, like from the uh, last fight, he got me to the stomach. So I was, you know, I was packed up all the time, you know. Didn't didn't. Uh, you know, I was fully focused. You know, so because I knew he can throw, it, he can throw any, at, at any angle. You know, some shots. So yeah, that's why I played it smart. Well, he told me earlier this week if he beat you, he wanted to fight Roman Cricklier next. Cricklier is up next month, main event, defending his um, his belt. Is is that something you want as well? Well, well, since I signed with one belt, is a goal for me. Anybody who who comes to who one offers me, I'm gonna be there, and I'm gonna fight him. My 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 goal is to become a champion, and no one no one will stop me in that. Light heavyweight, heavyweight, no issue either. Heavyweight because now I think I'm just like too big for the light heavyweight. <laughs> yeah. This is that the issue? Because I think quickly, uh, is, is he he's light heavyweight, right? So yeah, he, he's right. got a heavyweight uh, Grand Prix belt, but yeah, 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 yeah. But he fights both. He fights both. He has uh, uh, he has. Um, what maybe 105 kilos, so he can do both both category. And yeah, we met before, and I know in future it's it's gonna happen, and it's gonna be a very very huge fight for 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 one. Maybe for a inaugural heavyweight belt, yeah, perhaps. Yeah, I I told you as I told you, whatever whoever one puts in front of me, whenever I will be there. Now they say good, though I said yes. So anybody, anytime. Is it hard to get so violent at 7 a.m. in the morning? <laughs> well, to be honest with you, uh, did it before, like last fight when I fought Sofridis, it was the same time, and um, maybe a little, a little, a little tougher this time. But uh, but in the end, it's you finish it early and you are done with it. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you would have to wait whole day and then fight. So. I think it's 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 a good thing, you know. It's a good thing. I these days when 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 I was in Thailand, I used uh, like this last week. I got up every morning at like five, train so I can develop myself, so I can do it, you know. And uh, to be honest, it's not a big deal. 
It's not a big deal, yeah. All right. Well, what about a Friday fights, Olympini on you know the Friday show? Would you ever be open to doing one of those? Man, if one offers me, yeah. I would love to fight Muay Thai, kickboxing, <laughs> anything. Man, to me, like probably everybody says say said it, but Lumpini Stadium fighting here, it's man, it's I don't know how what you can compare to that. It's a it's not a dream come true. It's it's even more bigger, you know. We all know for Lumpini, Ramon Decker fight here. Every Thai legend was champion here, so this is. To me, man, I think there is no, not a bigger podium, uh, stadium that you can fight, and I'm really glad that I fight here. I hopefully, I, I, I will fight again. If they call for a Muay Thai fight, I will be there. I will be maybe with that, you know, mm. that Muay Thai, Muay, Muay Thai style of fighting. So yeah, if they have, if they, if they offer me Muay Thai, I can fight no problem. But my main goal is a kickboxing champion belt. Okay, well. Message to your fans then, finally. Yeah, thank you guys all for support. Thank you for everybody back home, my family, my friends, everybody. There, is, there are a lot of, a lot of people watching. So everybody, thank you very much. It's a big, uh, big relief. I was getting ready three months for this fight, man. And every day Guto was in my head, you know, so it's a big, big, like, you know, relief. So yeah, I just am gonna, gonna probably rest till July and any date I will fight and I want to be here as soon as possible. Sounds good. Congratulations, Randy, on the big win over Guti. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Dom Lau here from One Championship. You are tuned into the best damn martial arts news outlet anywhere in Asia. SCMP Martial Arts, baby. Give him a follow.